Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen with Gardening 2018. Today I'm going to talk about growing indoors for winter. Now this year we tried to do uh, some uh, spring, or no, some fall and winter growing indoors like we did last year. But this time I gave up on the whole idea of uh, bringing them indoors from the outside. Um, what we did have was a, a mini greenhouse though that we put uh, plants in and we hardened the soil to prepare the plants for the changeover from being out, so out in the open into the green little mini greenhouse. I uh, put them in the greenhouse during the day and then took them back out during the night and vice versa. And then after a week, I just left them in there. But other than that, um, we decided that we're going to just grow from scratch indoors. And what I wanted to do is try one more um, winter of trying to grow cantaloupes in, indoors inside of a container. And I used uh, four, I believe it was four coffee cans with some dirt. And I... Uh, uh, planted cantaloupes to see if they'd grow and my brother he wanted to try growing some um, banana trees I think it was uh, avocados avocado trees and some cactuses and then he did some cinnamon I believe they were trees but they could have been um, the other kind but I, I believe that's what they were cinnamon um, so with that, I'm going to show you the videos and we'll go through it. If there's anything I forgot to mention, I'll bring it up. Now I took a old uh, refrigerator grill and I put it up on top of it because of this setup because I wanted to take those planters and set them up on top of it. This is how it first started out. I took and put those white or plastic containers underneath it so I could fill them up with water. Let the water drain from the bottom. Those coffee can lids right there had uh, dirt in them and we had cinnamon in them. And I finally got them transferred up there. I put strings down towards the coffee cans and I let the cantaloupes grow. And I buried the string inside of there. Needless to say, the cantaloupes this year didn't grow either. Um, I'm giving up on that whole idea of the cantaloupes actually growing in, indoors like that. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about it, but for the last two years, it just hasn't worked for me. They'll grow out for a certain amount of time, and then they die. And that's pretty much how it's always been with them. So I, I pretty much don't fall for that whole thing. I mean, I've... I've come. Up, I've figured something out about them. You know, when it comes to growing them with the strings, that was a good. That, that's a really good trick that I'd like to learn. But other than that, I'm not going to do anything spectacular with cantaloupes other than growing them from the ground and training them to grow upwards. But uh, uh, we ended up having cinnamon that that did grow through the rest of the year. Um, None of the other stuff growed, was growing. Um, Robert, my brother, he, he likes to buy a lot of seeds from overseas, so we have issues with that. Um, I, I have to give people a little advice on that too. Don't don't buy seeds from Taiwan or, or China or anything like that because it has been just confusing. It's a confusing nightmare. These people will send you seeds and they will not have any kind of name tags or anything that goes with them to show you what kind of uh, plant what, what plants they are so you're getting these envelopes full of seeds and you don't know what they are so then you have to go on the internet and you have to look up each type of plant to find out which ones match up with what's in the in the bag that you're getting and that's not even well, that is half of it, which is bad. There's a few that did send little 
tags and stuff to show what kind of plant it was, but there's a whole lot of them that didn't. And my brother would buy them off of eBay, and whenever the transaction went through, they wouldn't close them out. So you're stuck there with like an order from Taiwan of lavender that's never been closed out because they didn't go through eBay, they just sent it through the mail. And that brings me to my second part. Um, he eventually got one of the packages opened up, sent through the mail, and the customs had literally confiscated what he had gotten because these guys were sending uh, seeds illegally into the United States. So just a word of caution, you know, don't get caught up in all that. That's not a good deal. If you want to buy seeds and you want to grow them, do it locally, you know, go and go to your nearest uh, garden, and home and garden, you know, center and, and buy the seeds that you want and go from there. You know, if you do buy something that's exotic, do it from the United States and uh, make sure that it go, goes according to your zone. So that I'm going to get off of here. If uh, you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, share. Um, make comments if you have any tips or advice feel free to give it because I definitely need to have, have I need the advice I'm doing this just from uh, experience I'm not trying or I, I'm not trying to you know become educated I guess at it but if you uh, like like I said if you like the video you know like subscribe share make comments and thanks for watching. Yeah, have a good day.